Which iron is the most explosive? Well, today we've got Jackie with us to hit some shots. We're gonna see which iron model is providing the most distance out there. Golfers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today, a fun, well, very fun test. Um, because, well, when we do iron fittings, Jackie, it's not always about distance. Um, but today, this video is all about distance because uh, basically the test here is which iron in the store is going to give the most distance for Jackie. So Jackie's going to hit shots. We've got four selected here. Jackie, walk me through the iron models that you have here and why you think they're good candidates to be kind of the most explosive or give you the most distance. Well, so they're all seven irons, but yeah. they don't have a lot of loft. Okay. Right? So, you know, when we're talking about a number on a club yeah in this situation they're not really seven irons right but they in, in theory in the set they technically are yeah right there's the number seven is on there it's just but, compared yeah. to other sets it's probably not equal to a seven so they're gonna range anywhere from 26 to 28 degrees okay so you got the t400 right you got the ping g425 power spec oh okay and then you got the callaway epic forged mm-hmm and then you have the Cobra Rad Speed. Okay, so these are the four you kind of picked out here as maybe the most explosive. And they all, it's kind of cool, they all have kind of your own unique, um, you know, technologies or materials on there to really uh, generate that distance, you know. Because uh, you, you mentioned the Epic Forge, that's kind of like that. They have these, that, it's kind of a forged club place, but it's also very, uh, you know, there's a lot of bounce effect almost off the face, right? Um, rad speed to have that radio waiting in there to generate that explosive distance. So there's technologies packed in, but a lot of them too, like the, T the T400, that's a ginormous club head. Yeah. But the hollow body design too, it's just a, a, an incredible sound. I'm looking forward to that. But also, I mean, that thing has serious pop as well. So um, I'm very excited to see this now in terms of, we got four, looks like four different golf shafts. Maybe go over the golf shafts and then kind of, you know, maybe the format of the test here a little bit, you know, how many shots are you gonna hit with each one? Yeah, so with the Titleist, you got the stock shaft in the 10 side red, regular mm -hmm. flex. Ping, you got the um, AWT 2.0 regular flex. And then for the Callaway, you got the 10 side uh, 60 gram uh, AV series regular flex. And then for the Callaway, you got the Catalyst 60 regular flex. Okay, so we're going regular flex across the board, which I know is kind of what you fit into yeah. here. So um, we'll, how about, uh, let's go five shots with each club here. Let's we'll see if uh, average distance, what we got. But now just to give people an idea, how about your gamer? First of all, what is your club, but also seven iron distance. What do you usually expect for your gamer? Yeah, I play the T200. Okay. Um, so that club's definitely gonna get more height, yeah. more spin than what we're gonna see here. but. Uh, that usually goes about anywhere from 140 to 145. Okay. Uh, so that's my standard seven iron. Okay. So that's kind of what we have for the base now. Obviously, I think we're expecting all four of these to surpass that in distance. Yep. But um, I think we're ready to get to the test here. You want to hit some shots? Let's go. It's a good start. A uh haul. -huh. Okay. Nice. Didn't even hit that one solid, so. You sound like Thomas Campbell. That had a little bit different sound to it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, One's, you're at? 172. So the, the 140 to 145 <laughs> number is already well eclipsed. Ah. Just a little bit on the fat side. <laughs> it's still at 171. Okay. So Jackie, the T400 there. Um, you hit those solid. That had a really like piercing noise almost. Um, but, so you said 140 to 145 is what your gamer yep. is, is traveling. Um, we had two shots surpass 170 total yards. Yep. And you had four out of five, and I think you mishit this number, this uh, shot three yep. here. But you had four out of five that were basically, I mean, well over 100 miles per hour ball speed. So uh, T400, a lot of, lot of explosiveness in there. Yeah, um, you know, it kind of looks like in between an iron and a hybrid. It's, like, it's almost like a utility yeah, club. But it feels actually really good, yeah. not going to lie. I, I didn't really expect that fully, I guess. I mean, I knew I would obviously hit it further than what I have in the T200 just yeah. because of loft, right? But 
the one thing I just want to note, even with the loft difference, like I still I mean to hit 163 and above, like I would expect it to go about like my six iron, right? Because yeah. that would be the loft of what I right. have. Right, yeah. And it, I'm still getting extra explosiveness. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was yeah. good. It was good on miss it too. I think you, this one you missed and it just oh, yeah, the spin drop, that. but it's still, a, it, the total was still 171 yards. So interesting there. So, all right. We'll go to club number two here, which will be the Ping G425 Power Spec. One sixty-five, okay, creeping up there. I mean, it feels good. It's just I, I feel like I'm not getting enough pop. I think like your your club speed seems to be decreasing, actually. Yeah, it feels heavy. So, G four twenty-five power spec. Not you noticed or felt that it was a little bit on the a heavy side? Yeah. It just, I don't know, the head feels heavy. Okay. I mean, because you, you did drop two, almost two and a half miles per hour yeah. on speed. So maybe that was, you know, obviously that contributed to it. But so overall, you did have, I think you had one that went 165 with, uh, let me check here on the distance. Yeah, you had a 165 with the G425. But uh, other than that, T400 seems to be the winner in terms of distance for. The, just on head to head those two. So T400 is still leader in the clubhouse here. Um, why don't we get to this next club here, which would be the Epic Forge from Callaway. Oh. Holy ball speed. 109.7. Wow. Nice. I think that was, that's, that's comfortably faster than I've seen anything uh, from you so far. Oh man. 110.9. Oh man. Yeah. That's the new winner, or new leader, I should say. That one smoked too. 110 again? Oh, close. 176. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, we have to discuss this. The Callaway Epic Forged, uh, very much the new leader in the clubhouse. And it wasn't even so much to do with the swing speed because your swing speed was only about a mile an hour faster. Yeah. But the ball speed jumped by almost five. Yeah, it just like, I don't know if, I mean, it's forged, so it does feel really good. Yeah. Like even, I mean, that miss hit, I hit it on low on the face. Like right. I knew it was going to be short, but like it felt better than the G425 for sure. Um, T400, I mean, it felt honestly like similar in yeah. feel. The sound was way different though. Oh yeah, that. yeah. But this was like, I don't know, I just felt more comfortable swinging it as yeah. I was going through. I mean, so what do we, this is the longest one right now. This is 176.4 in total. That, once again, that is basically 30 yards longer than yeah. you're used to hitting a seven iron. Well, and why is because spin rate is definitely Spin rate's down, lower. yes. Yeah. And, so, you know, you're, that, that the ball speed is also just tremendous right now. Uh, and we're just simply just trying to see how far I can right. hit it, right? So, right. like... I, I think so far this is definitely I mean, the winner so far. Correct, correct. We that got is, one more though. We got one more club. We've got the Cobra Rad Speed. I'm curious to see how that stacks up here. Holy sound on that one. That was that yeah. like hurt. That's, see that one launched way higher I feel like. Yeah it did. Yeah that was good too. Nah just not as much. I mean they're good. They're just. That's just I think this is just launching higher. Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing for a game improvement iron. It's just for. That was a good too. All right, so Jackie, we've got Rad Speed up there now. Did not quite keep up um, with the, well, with the Epic Forged. Um, give me your thought, because the, the sound on that Rad Speed, I don't know. I mean, you hit that solid, it was like a loud. Very loud. It was like a loud, it was like someone took a. Symbol and just smacked it in your face, yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, but distance-wise, it was probably right in the middle of the pack, if not down towards the bottom with the G425 power spec. Um, but Epic Forest, goodness gracious! You yeah. just—I don't know if it was a thing for just you. You were just maybe hit more confidence in the swing or what? But I mean, 
you swung a little bit faster than the others, but that ball speed increase is kind of nuts. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's just, it, I got more speed from that club. Um, it felt lighter. So that might have something to do with it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, even though it probably isn't. Yeah. Um, but it felt lighter. Uh, and I just made really solid contact. When you're talking about smash factor at 1.4, like. That'll do it, you know? Yeah, that's going to that's gonna cause you to be able to get extra pop off the face when it's hitting the center. Right. Every and you didn't time. have any of those, uh, like, you know, kind of like those super low spin, like knuckleball effect yeah. ones with those. I don't remember if I'm going to, I mean. Go one, here. I had you that know, one missed. That one hit. that was a little bit under 4,000. You yeah. had this short one here that was still 45. And yeah. then you had these two right next to each other, which, I mean, you look at these four shots up here. Those are all, you know, 170 plus yards. Well, and I think when you're talking about distance, right? Like, would I put any of these in my bag? Probably not. Just right. because I like to get more spin, more height more control, be able to stop the ball. Mm -hmm. But that's just because of the player I am. But if you're looking for, you know, you're just simply needing more extra distance, distance. More speed, right. The thing with the, the Epic Forge that I was impressed with is just like, even the stopping power is not terrible. I mean, within 10 to 14 yards, I mean, it's not like great, but it's also when you're thinking about if there's a combination of distance and being able to at least stop it, Yeah. that's, not bad. I mean, so you're still able to, to do It's that. actually number two here in terms of stopping power, yeah. which is kind of phenomenal, actually. So I'm just, I'm, I'm in stopping power, I'm kind of measuring that by total distance minus carry distance. So 13.1 yards, right? If my yep. math is correct here. You've got 14.9 here. You've got 13.3 here. And then you got, you know, I think that's probably 11.6 or something like yep. that. So, um, Epic Forge was actually better stopping power than two of the irons up there. So it, it certainly isn't that knuckleball effect or that it's just rolling out. I mean, you're able to carry that thing 158 yards. Yeah. Carry distance 10 yards further than anything else. Yep. Which is And 20 insane. yards further than what I currently do. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's remarkable. I didn't expect that much of a difference or that clear of a winner here, but I Epic expected, Forge. honestly, I expected like 10, just because of the loft, you know? 10, I mean, 10, 10 yards, yards further, yeah. yeah. Right, well, yeah, 20 I think is that's a lot. 20 yards different. And I also didn't expect one winner here to emerge that much. That's kind of, it's impressive from Callaway and the Epic Forge. So, I mean, this was fun. I, I enjoyed this test here. This was great. Uh, so we kind of have a, you know, we, now we know. I mean, just yeah. to have in, our, in the back of our minds, Callaway Epic Forge irons, really explosive, potentially the most explosive irons in the store here, at least from the four that you thought would, would be good, good contenders. So. Uh, this was fun, Jackie. Thanks for putting this together, hitting the shots, hitting, you know, four out of five, seven irons over 170 yards with the Epic Forged uh, and putting together a one four zero smash. Really good stuff here. And uh, maybe some golfers will learn something about, you know, which irons out there do provide the most distance. And I think too, just, just to end things, when you're looking at the dispersion, that's pretty good. It is. Like when you're when you're talking about okay, well, if what am I sacrificing? Am I sacrificing consistency and dispersion with trying to get more speed and more distance? This is just showing, no, not really. <laughs> no. I mean, you can still get that consistency because these are more forgiving because they're trying to get more ball speed right. and they're a little bit bigger club heads That's than a good I used point. to. But like you can still have that happy medium there. So. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. So then you know when golfers do come in for a fitting, they can break that down. We always cater to what they, the player wants: more distance, maybe more accuracy, more workability, whatever it is. Uh, you can get that second swing. So thanks again, Jackie. This was really interesting and fun.